the 50 wealthiest hedge fund managers in America last year earned $500 million a year on average. And somehow, despite earning this enormous amount of income, they resent paying the same tax rate as people who earn $50,000 a year. Hey, it's Eric Byler for TYT Politics. The patriotic millionaires have filed the paperwork necessary to become a federal lobbying organization. Today's effort to convince Congress to repeal the carried interest tax loophole marks the beginning of, quote, a constant presence on the Hill, arguing for policies that benefit the majority of Americans, not just the wealthy elite. When I started filing taxes as an investment manager, I was told I got the special break. How did you feel about it? When when you learned you had a special break. Well, I got to say, like initially, uh, it seemed it seemed fine, but as I thought about it, carried interest is something that um, I believe happened inadvertently. Uh, it, it's based on how partnerships are taxed. There's an incentive for people to make long-term investments. If you make a long-term investment, you buy a business, you hold it for more than a year, and you sell that investment, you get to pay tax at a lower rate than everyone else, and. That's okay. That's what Congress decided. So originally risk was used as a justification for the lower tax rate. Is that a fair justification? You know, yeah, it can be. You know, they don't, these people could just decide to spend their money on vacation homes or other things, but they say, hey, we want to invest in, in growing companies or at least, you know, altering the structure of companies that could make them more profitable or make them a good target for purchase. It's a way of growing their money. But, you know, if they are taking a risk. They might lose it all. They are risking some actual funds, but the managers have no risk. What some of these investment managers do is the investment manager says, oh, I'm actually a partner with my client. So when my client gives me money to invest, we both get the benefits of the long-term capital gains rate. Even though normally, if you work for a living, you pay taxes at earned income tax rates. Morris, we're going to have you, Jonathan, 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 Jonathan,
do that. I see. So a real job creator actually needs a robust middle class with purchasing power. Yes. If you're in the business of making chunky monkey ice cream, you need a robust middle class of people who can afford to pay for expensive ice cream. If you're in the business of making stride right shoes, you need a robust middle class of people who can afford to pay for expensive shoes. You know, yeah, if you're in the business of coal mining, you don't need a robust middle class. But if you're in any other business, yeah, you need to live in a country, you want to live in a country with a robust middle class full of people who can afford to participate in the economy.